This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. How do you appropriately say that you don't want to go any farther? This is from a woman. <laughs> There's no little smiley face at the end or heart, um, but I'm just gonna guess. Uh, this is this, the way guys are socialized, just to demand, demand, demand. And women are socialized to defer, defer, defer. It's a real problem in opposite sex relationships. Um, it can be a problem in same-sex relationships too, but it's a real problem in opposite sex relationships because a lot of demanding happens and then deferring happens that leaves the woman feeling violated and then leaves the man feeling like, what the fuck? Why does she feel violated when I, de I asked, I demanded, and she said, okay, <laughs> right? And maybe that okay, maybe that consent was heartfelt, and maybe that consent was socially programmed because she was trained to defer to men. How do you appropriately say that you don't want to go any farther? You just fucking say it. Most guys are decent people. I speak for the penis havers who are male identified in the room. <laughs> Most of us are decent people. We don't really want to violate anybody, but we get horny and crazy and we demand because that's how we were trained, right? That we had these expectations as penis havers that the world was ours to fuck. <laughs> we just had to ask and the world would say, yes, fuck me. <laughs> but most guys don't like knowing or finding out after the fact that the person that they had sex with feels terrible about it. And a guy who doesn't give a shit is a piece of shit and a rapist in training and should be all sorts of bad things. Should happen to him, hopefully. Um, most guys want to hear it if you don't want to go any further. Say it. He may get a little sad, right? He may have a sad, oh, right? <laughs> but he'd rather have a little sad than have you feel mad or violated. Let him have his little pout, right? And he will respect you more for having stood up for yourself and drawn that line and said, here and no further right now. I don't want to go any further. Just fucking say it. And if he has, it's okay for him to have a little sad. It's okay for him to be a little disappointed. It's not okay for him to be coercively, angrily disappointed and make you feel bad about withdrawing your consent or drawing a line. If he has a little sad, you can like pat him on his little heads. <laughs> Maybe later, right? And let him have his little sad and then see how he recovers. See how he bounces back from a little sad. If he has a big mad sad, just get up and go and never see him again and tell all your friends. When gay people, queer people are left out of sex ed, that is a problem.